Hey everybody, I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech, and today I'm going to talk to you about an editing feature of ScreenFlow 4 called Ripple Delete. Ripple Delete is used to remove a section of your video and close the gap all at once. Typically, if you're removing a section of your video, what you do is you split the clips at the beginning, split it at the end, highlight the clips, hit delete, highlight the gap, and then hit delete to close the gap. Let me back up here. How ripple delete works is you go to the beginning and you go up here to mark and select mark endpoint. And that'll highlight your video from the scrubber all the way to the end of the video. You click on your time scale at the end and then you go to mark and mark out point. And then it highlights the section of your video that, it, that you want to get rid of. To get rid of it, in one step, go to Edit and Ripple Delete. And it deletes that and closes the gap all at once. Now this can also be done in reverse. Let me back up a step there. If you want to click on the end point, you can mark the out point. Click on the beginning and mark the end point and do the same thing. If you don't like the positions that you've chosen, you can go to mark and clear in and out points. Another thing you can do with this, say at this point I want to delete the rest of the video, I can go mark in point, and it'll highlight the rest of the video, and then edit and ripple delete, and it'll delete the rest of the video. This is also nice if you want to get rid of a section at the beginning of a video and close the gap. Say I want to go right here and I want to delete from this position on the scrubber to the beginning of the video. So I just mark my out point and it selects that position to the beginning and edit and ripple delete and it deletes that section and closes the gap at the same time. So that's using ripple delete in ScreenFlow 4. I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It's the easiest way to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.